Today I will discuss about prism dissociation method of binocular balancing. During refraction, our final prescription should keep accommodation equal in both eyes. Binocular balancing is done to balance the state of accommodation in the two eyes. Visual acuity of a patient may equal or unequal in both eyes. If visual acuity is equal or 66 in both eyes, following methods can be followed. Prism dissociation method, alternate occlusion method, fogging method and dissociated duochrome method. If visual acuity is not equal in both eyes, we can follow Humphrey's immediate contrast method. Humphrey's immediate contrast method can be performed in both condition whether patient's visual equity is equal or unequal in both eyes. Prism dissociation method. Now why this test is called dissociation method? When patient read 6 by 6 line with both eyes open, we can't able to identify in which eye patient is seeing more clearly than the other eye. To keep the status of accommodation equal in both eyes, we need to make sure that patient is seeing equally with each eye. And to do this, we dissociate or separate the target of each eye one on top of other using prism. That's why it's called dissociation method. In prism dissociation method, we use two prism, one in each eye, but base directed to opposite direction. Generally, we use base down in right eye and base up prism in left eye. We know that prism shift image towards the apex of the prism. In right eye, due to base down or apex up prism, right eye image will shift upward and in left eye, due to base up or apex down prism, left eye image will be shift downward. As we isolate the target of right eye and left eye one on top of other, now we can easily balance the clearness of the target of both eyes that will keep accommodation status equal in both eyes. Now what are the prerequisites of the test? Refractive status, monocular acceptance should be placed in the trial frame, room condition, daylight condition, test distance 6 meter or 3 meter with mirror, trial box, in trial box will be needed trial lenses, two pieces of three prism diopters and trial frame. Now procedure. Before starting the procedure, let's take an example. Patient's monocular acceptance are in right eye plus 1 minus 0 0.5 180 degree axis, in left eye plus 1.5 minus 0 0.5 180 degree axis. So before starting the procedure, we will place the monocular acceptance in the trial frame. Step 1. Fogging of both eyes. Binocular fogging is done in 0.25 diopter spherical steps until 6x6 letters are blurred but 6x9 letters are easily readable. Suppose with plus 0.75 diopter, patient is saying that 6x6 line is blurred and 6x9 line is readable. Now step 2. Adding prism. Now add 3 diopter prism base down before right eye and add 3 prism diopter base up before left eye. The patient's attention is directed to the 6x9 line of letters. Patient will see two images one on top of other due to optical properties of the prism. Image deviates towards the apex of the prism. So upper image belongs to the right eye as apex is up to the right eye and lower image belongs to the left eye as apex is down to the left eye. Now patient is asked which image is clearer as compared to other. Step 3 Balancing Plus 0.25 diopter spherical is added to the clearer target until both the targets are equally blurred. Suppose patient is saying that upper image is clearer. As upper image belongs to right eye, we will add plus 0.25 diopter in the right eye to make the both images equally blurred. Patient is saying that upper image is still clearer. So we will add another plus 0.25 diopter. 
Now patient is saying that both images are equally blurred. Now over the monocular correction we have in the right eye plus 0.5 that is balancing power plus 0.75 that is fogging power total plus 1.25 diopter and in left eye over monocular correction we have plus 0.75 that is fogging power now step 4 writing final prescription now the dissociating prisms are removed and patient is requested to look at 6x6 line now binocularly fogging power is reduced in 0.25 diopter steps until the 6x6 line becomes readable the leftover plus power will be added to the spherical power of the monocular acceptance power suppose after removing plus 0.25 diopter binocularly patient is saying that 6x6 line is still not readable so again we will reduce plus 0.25 diopter now patient is saying that 6x6 line is readable so over monocular acceptance after defogging of plus 0.5 diopter spherical we have in right eye plus 1.25 minus 0.5 or plus 0.75 and in left eye plus 0.75 Minus 0.5 or plus 0.25 diopter. This leftover power we have to add with the monocular acceptance. So the final power after binocular balancing will be in right eye. Monocular acceptance was plus 1 minus 0.5 at 180 degree axis. So if we add plus 0.75 diopter, the final power becomes plus 1.75. Minus 0.5 at 180 degree axis, and in left eye, monocular acceptance was plus 1.5 minus 0.5 180 degree axis. So if we add plus 0.25 diopter, final power will be plus 1.75 minus 0.5 180 degree axis. Prism dissociation method is time consuming and a complex procedure. You need highly intelligent patient to perform this test. In upcoming videos, I will discuss about other methods of binocular balancing so that you can choose the best procedure for your practice. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.